Gonna roll under window. Coming somewhat more precarious. How are we gonna turn around? How are we gonna turn around without falling down the mountain? <laughs> I'm starting to lose faith that we're actually going in the right way. <laughs> I have a feeling that it was on top of that hill. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that. <laughs> this is where we parked. What? This is not the Judicola Rock. This is a fire pit. And this is the absolutely gorgeous view. And there's some Buddhist prayer flags. So we know we're close because the landowner likes them. And there's more flags. Definitely big sky mountain country out here. And I'm glad I wore my hiking boots. I thought maybe it'd be right here. In the PBS special, what? they showed a, a pedestrian bridge over it. I mean, it kind of has to be down that path, I guess. I don't think that's it either. It 
it's a less striated gray that looks like sandstone. Yeah. Oh, maybe it is soapstone. But this is a different shape than the video. Okay. And it's not this. No, this doesn't have any glyphs on it. Well, the only thing of is to take a walk down that way. And this is where I almost drove off the cliff. There's more of that lovely lamb's ear. Mm -hmm. Looks like cabbage. Fuzzy, soft cabbage. This is where you almost went up there. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> I promise on our next adventure I will listen more carefully. <sighs> so pretty. You want me to look down here and then like and yell back, see if there's a... Oh no, this is fine. Because if there's a turnaround down here, you could avoid this whole trip back. Isn't that the bridge right there? I don't know, Sue. Can you see it? Yes, it is. Well? There's some disagreement as to whether or not the Judicola Rock is just down that hill. Joshua says he can't see it. But on the video that UNC TV put out interviewing the landowner and stuff, it was it was surrounded by a wooden bridge and I thought I saw that through the trees but Joshua doesn't see it and he's down there note to self we need some walkie talkies Okay, we're saying goodbye to what looks like the owner's private little Buddhist retreat area. And thinking maybe if we go down, Albuquerque. yeah, we made a left turn at Albuquerque. Maybe we're supposed to go straight. 
certainly seems like a place where you have, you know, a 2,000 year old the bumpy stone. Off on my first solo adventure. Looking for Judicola Rock. And this ain't it. Nope. I would go straight out under the Buddha flag. The prayer flag. On the hunt for Judicola Rock. Do you think a big 2,000 year old dented rock would not, with a bridge around it, like with the actual construction around it, would not be hard to find? That's why I think we, we went the wrong way. I was like, where am I going? No. All right. <clears throat> so basically, at this. Should we go further that way then? We should turn left when we get to the road. Because we came from the right. This thing's probably like four inches in diameter or something. Probably this right here. Nope. Why not? Because that doesn't have carving on it. How do you tell? It was just dents and scratches. I mean, you know, not to be culturally insensitive or anything, but it was a rock. My cows were going in the other direction. I think we're now going into this guy's house. I think this leads right to the guy's house. Private property. Alright, here's the sign. It's a built in thing. Are you telling me that this is it? Yep. Ah! Uh. Only gone just a little further. There it is. You're a brave, adventure, <laughs> adventurous soul. I, this is this is actually this is probably how a lot of archaeologists feel. I've hiked all over hell and back looking for this goddamn. It's got a rock. sign and everything. I saw that. I saw that thing and I was like, no. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, we're here. Sign. Uh huh. Yeah, this is definitely a state park. Archaeologists believe intensive use of the site began over 1,000 years this. BCE. Look at that Cherokee language. Do not touch the rock. Okay, stay on the path and platform. Mm. Huh? I feel that we deserve to go closer. <laughs> Hike all over the heck and back to find a rock. Oh, it's at the end of the path by the sign. <sighs> With a parking area. Oh, look, they even have a garbage can. I know. <laughs> what have I gone? I feel like I saw something pleasant. <laughs> Petroglyphs. Rock symbols. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad we got to see it. Yes, it would have been a shame to have not seen this. It is huge. It is so much bigger than I thought it was. Oh, this is cool. This is a schematic getch, sketch of the glyphs by Scott Ashcraft. Now, far be it for me to suggest we go on another wild goose chase, but there does appear to be a path behind us. Leading to what? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
can. So I wonder what's down here. I don't know. Even path. To tantalize the mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a deer trail. I think this is where it goes. <laughs> Just kind of. I'm going to see. Oh, it divides. What? Which way? You really want to go into the woods? In the mountains? When the sun's setting? No time like the present. Yeah, that's what the bear says. <laughs> well, I just think we had a grand adventure, even if we went in the wrong place first. We ended up at the Judicala Rock. It was huger than I ever thought that it would be. Hi, this is Rev Sue from Readings by Rev Sue on an adventure to Judicala Rock. And this is the sign. It is a Cherokee cultural historical site. And you can see that some of the writing is actually in the Cherokee language, developed in the 1820s by the chief Sequoia. This is the site, but we first started over there. And you can see those prayer flags over there. That leads to a road that we thought led to Judicala Rock. And instead it leads to a private mountain retreat by the owner and it's gorgeous. And I don't think we're supposed to go up there. So I'm sorry, Mr. Parker, but this is the real site. So come on. This was given to the Jackson County to be a park uh, by the Parker family who, who owned the land. Now, according to Cherokee legend, that thing that looks like a spider with seven legs and a, an oval body is actually supposedly the handprint of a slant-eyed giant who lived high up in the Balsam Mountains named Judah Kula. But that's not how the Cherokee pronounced his name. Now, the legend has it that he was chasing down some disrespectful hunters and tripped and caught himself on this rock and it, it left his handprint for all time. I think that's a fascinating story. I would love to know the stories behind all of these. Apparently, Judicula's marks have been found in other Cherokee monuments, so he was definitely a figure in their mythology. I would love to know more about that. But here we are at Judicola Rock. This is Rev Sue, thanking you for joining me on my travel log, and I'm signing off. Peace out. <laughs>